everybody welcome to the casual knitter um this is a new video series that i'm going to record for you who the the mom who wants to learn how to knit um and uh who wants to do it in a very simple and relaxed way that's what i'm here for i love knitting i was taught by my grandmother when i was a teenager back in germany where i grew up and um I love showing other people how easy and simple it can be to knit. I teach continental knitting, with it, which is a little bit different than what you might see around here in the United States from most knitters. Um, the reason why I teach that are two. So number one, obviously it's what I have been taught, so it's what I do best. But also the second reason is I find it simpler and it's also faster. Once you learn the technique, you're gonna be able to knit faster than with um, the version that you might see around here. So, for the very first video on here, I'm so excited, we're going to dive right into the simplest stitch that you can knit and that you're going to need for very basic designs, but also for advanced designs. So this is a, knit, uh, this is a stitch that you are going to need all the time, so it's very important to learn this one first. Um, and uh, I'm excited to show you how I actually knit this one, which is uh, very different from the um, American knitting that you might see around. So take your time, rewind it often if you have to. You can slow it down. I'm gonna do a slow-mo as well so that you can actually see really how I do it. I'm going to switch you over to this side right here um, where I have a nice light and a white background. So it's going to be really nice and easy for you to see my hand movement and how I knit. And um, this is going to come in handy for you for so many projects that you're going to do from here on forward. Do not feel intimidated by any of this. I promise you it's easy. I've taught my daughters um, and if they can learn it, you can definitely learn it. So I hope you're ready to dive in. Today, you are going to learn how to stitch, uh, how to knit the knit stitch, which is again, the very basic stitch. And you literally, when you learn this stitch, you're gonna be able to make an entire sweater on your own. So exciting, right? Let's dive in. All right, I hope you're ready to dive in. So I have my um, my current knitting project right here, which is so fun um, because it's actually uh, made of what it's called garter stitch, which means that every single row and every stitch is knitted in knit stitch. So that's the stitch I'm showing you today. And interestingly enough, that is all I'm doing in this project. So it's actually something that you will be able to do once you learn how to cast on, cast off, and um, learn the stitch that I'm about to show you today. So all the other little tricks and tips that I use for knitting are all over my Instagram for now. There's more things coming, so stay tuned. Um, but this is the beginning of the video series that I'm starting to put together and I'm so excited to show you step by step how to do these things. So once you have everything laid out the right way, you're going to bring your second needle over. You are going to take your yarn. It's coming off like this from the side before when you when you finish the last row, which again, check the other videos. There's going to more going to be more videos coming. Um, and you're going to twist it around to the back because we are not holding the yarn with the right hand we're holding it with our left hand and we are going to um, twist it around just like this so you're going to grab it here between these two fingers pull out a little bit and then twist it around here two times so now you have it laying basically laying it within your hand and this makes sure that the yarn continues to pull easily as you continue to knit okay so you don't have to undo it all the time but you don't just hold it like this because you're going to need your finger to kind of control the length sometimes so that's why we do this so in here just hook under twist it around your index finger you'll get the hang of it i prefer mine to be just a little bit lower right there now Here's one little trick that I always use, especially when it comes to garter stitch. You see this nice neat edge here? I usually slip the very first stitch. Slipping the stitch simply means you take your, your right needle, you pull it into the previous stitch, and then you just simply slip it off. So you're going to need this finger. This is why you don't just hold the yarn, but you just pull it tight. So it's not too tight here, but it's also not loose like this. So pull it around the hand easy to still move the needle around so 
so don't pull it too tight okay now here we go you're going to notice this little loop right here this is like the stitch right here so you can see this loop going over and all you're going to do is go into the stitch if you can see that so into the stitch right here showing you from the other side so you can see where exactly i'm going and now here comes the actual stitch you can help with this hand a little so you're basically just grabbing the yarn with your needle I secure it with my hand so it doesn't slip back off and pull it through the loop. After that, flip it off. And you just knitted your first stitch. We're going to do a couple of more, but obviously you are able to rewind this um, video as many times as you need to so that you can actually get the hang of it. And trust me, I'm going to show you too. This will be so much faster than if you were holding the yarn on this side and then loop it around every single time because every time you have to loop it you have to let go of your needle and it takes that much longer okay so obviously in the beginning even this will take longer but i promise it's not going to be for long and with everything practice will always make it better right so here we go again that's our stitch so you're going really close to the needle push it through Again, let me show you the back. So you're just in one. You can't, <laughs> don't accidentally go through both because in that case you're underneath the stitch and you're not going to hit it. And then you're just going to have it come undone. So you have to go in between. Okay. Grab your yarn, pull it through, and let go. And then I pull it just a bit tighter. Here we go again. Go in loop through, pull it through, and off. And do one more slow. Needle in, grab your yarn, pull it through, and off. All right, so go a little faster just so you can see what that looks like. There you go. I'm going to slow it down now. You can see it again. Going through here. Grab it. Pull through. And then you let the left part slip off the needle. This is very clear to see how this works. And once you get the hang of it, there is no more unlearning this, which is so beautiful. And how do I know that? Because I did not knit for probably 15 years when I picked it back up right before the pandemic. And it came back like I was riding a bike, <laughs> which is so beautiful, right? So in here loop around and you can see how I'm making a little bit of a movement with this hand you don't have to you can just grab it with this hand but sometimes you can help out a little and you will do this especially later on whenever your knitting goes a lot faster and you can see my movement here how my hand kind of tips as I'm going and look at that it is such a beautiful knit stitch um, so whenever you knit all, um, every row and all stitches in this way, you will get these little S loops all around your knitting, which is so pretty. And it's such a simple pattern. Again, this doesn't have any increases or any decreases. It's just a straight edge down here too, which means you don't need any other technique other than knowing how to cast on and cast off, which is so fun because you it really doesn't take much to be able to knit an entire piece of garment. All right, let's do it a couple more times for you. And then be sure to watch this video over and over and practice along. A 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning the knit stitch. It is so simple. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to be so fast for you. I want you to take your time to practice. I want you to come back to this video. I want you to share it with your friends who you know are also wanting to learn how to knit. Um, and then learn together. So if you have any questions about this, you can comment below. You can hop over my Instagram. You can send me a message there um, or just comment on any of my other posts. If there are any things that you cannot find anywhere on my Instagram that you want to learn, just let me know and I'll make a video for you too. All right. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.